There, this bed looks great. I know my mom is gonna be so excited because I did all the chores that she asked me to do today. Even though, you know, I've been working literally all day and oh my gosh, it's almost 9 p.m. Uh, maybe if I just walk out here, I can watch some cartoons. Oh, uh, hey mom. Um, oh, uh, Megan, uh, did you wake me up from my nap again? Um, I mean, nap, it's like almost 9 p.m. Who could nap at this time? The, like, you know, I, I feel so full of life and energy. I was wondering if I could watch cartoons Cartoons. I work the night shift, so I gotta take some late night naps. Did you finish all those chores that I left you? Yes, I cleaned out the fridge, I took out the trash, I mowed the lawn, I sweeped up the fireplace, I made the bed, I totally cleaned the entirety of the bathroom, even though it was really, really dirty, and I even got all the gum out of the carpet. That was all you managed to get done today? I mean, that's not bad. I'm really, you know, really young, and I, I spent all day doing this and it's kind of hard because I don't have any help. I guess you're trying your best or whatever, but I mean, you're not an adult. Don't you think that maybe like, you know, you could give me a brother or sister and then um, I would have way more help around the house. A brother or a sister? Are you kidding? Do you know how hard it is just to take care of one of you? You want siblings? Oh, I mean, that is just asking for a lot. Well, I mean, like, I've always wanted a brother or sister. Somebody to share my time with, someone to play with, uh, you know, we could play mermaids in the pool or something. That would just be really fun. So do you promise me you'll consider it? Yeah, you know what? Why don't we consider it over some ice cream? Does does that sound good? Yes, that sounds great. Oh my gosh, you're in such a good mood today. I never get ice cream. So what flavor do you think that you're going to get, Mom? Oh, you know, probably something like a uh, banana or coffee. I mean, those sound pretty good. I am on a brand new social media, and even better, they're sponsoring today's video. I'm actually very, very excited about this one, so you definitely want to listen up. Today's sponsor is Pop Jam. So Pop Jam is a safe and fun platform for kids. I just really want you guys to know that, because I know that there's a lot of scary stuff out there, and I'm actually really, really excited about this. So it's safe and fun and for kids. Users can build their own profiles and follow and find things that they love. On Pop Jam, they can follow their favorite YouTubers, they can look at funny memes, and even get really, really creative with daily challenges. I engaged in this daily challenge where I drew a cute, adorable Stay Peachy outfit on this dog. And as you can see, tons of people inserted so many really cool outfits as well. Like, this is so cool and cute and I'm actually a big fan of this. So you guys can create your own amazing artworks to share on the platform using any brushes or little stickers or even filters. And you can even do really fun things like take quizzes, do polls, or even watch videos. It's social media, but it's safe. So as we can see, this is my profile. I'm really excited because at this time, I almost have a thousand followers. Maybe, hopefully, I will reach it after this. I have tons of photos here and I can interact with you guys, like your comments, respond to your comments. Like this is a real social media, but made for kids. And look at this, guys. So I have a poll and I want you guys to go vote on what you think the next Roblox video should be. Obviously, we have some four choices here. I voted for birth to death, but like it doesn't look like I'm in the favor. So vote for your favorite because that is going to decide what type of video we do next. So guys, please go over to Pop Jam, find me, make a place. It's linked down below. And even like a couple times a month, I'm going to be doing some exclusive content over there that you guys can't get anywhere else. So definitely check it out. Thank you so much, Pop Jam, for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. I appreciate it. And let's get back to the video. Oh my gosh, you brought me to the orphanage to adopt a brother or sister? You really do care about me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's totally, totally uh, what's going on right now. Hi, ma'am. I'm looking for one brother or sister, please. Actually, uh, I am here to uh, register a new child in your care. Okay, um, is there a reason why? Yeah, I, I just don't think that I'm really cut out to be a mom. You know, she can't handle enough responsibility and I miss the single life, so it's time for her to go. Wait, mom, you're dropping me off here at the orphanage all alone? Look, I didn't have the heart to tell you on the way here, but I think that this will be better for all of us. You'll get all the brothers and sisters you want and I can go back to young, fun life. No, mom, please don't leave me. I mean, I'll, I'll never ask for a brother or sister again. It could just be the two of us and I'll, I'll try Try harder with the chores. I'll get way more done than I thought. Have fun here and see you never. What? Mom! No! Oh no, okay, wait, she's joking, right? She's joking! She can't be driving away and leaving me here in this 
orphanage? Great, another kid to take care of. My name's Megan, what's yours? Did you eat dinner already? No, my mom was gonna take me to get ice cream, but she dropped me off here. Well, we already did, so if you're hungry, there's a bin across the street, so have fun digging. A bin across the street? That trash can? <sighs> Okay, well maybe I can make some friends. Um, hey, I'm Megan. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, I'm Chelsea. So you must be new. Yes, I'm new and I'm so excited to be here. Actually, I'm not. I'm heartbroken and devastated, but I always thought that if you go in with a positive attitude, what's the worst that can happen? Well, it's just been me for a long time, so at least now we can be friends. Okay, perfect, sounds good. Oh my goodness, Becky, I'm so nervous. Our very first day of high school. You know, you've been my best friend since, you know, I was dropped off at the orphanage at such a young age, and I know if we were able to tackle that, we'll be able to tackle this. I'm super excited, but I'm also super nervous. Like, what if we fall on our way in? You know, that'd be kind of awkward. Just um, be really cautious of the way you're walking, and then you'll look really normal when you're doing that. Even start to think all about your breathing, and that should go over really well. Think about my breathing? Well, now I can't breathe. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. Let's just get in there. You know, you just gotta dive in and go in with a positive attitude. Um, oh, hey there. Uh, I'm new here. I mean, it's the first day of school, so I guess <laughs> we're kind of all new here. My name is Megan, and this is my friend Becky. Oh, hi. I'm Jax, and uh, I'm kind of looking through my class schedule right now. I'm a bit confused, too. The first day of high school, no one said it would be this terrifying. I mean, it's been kind of fun for us. I mean, I get to go to art class, which I'm excited about, and I have have an A lunch period, which means I get to eat lunch first. What could be bad about that? Um, excuse me, out of my way? You guys are in the way of my locker. Um, you could walk around, there's space around. No, I don't think so. And who are you two? I've never seen you around here before. Oh, that's because we're new here. My name is Megan and this is Becky. Well, let me uh, give you a word of advice, Blondie. If you wanna be cool, don't associate with these uh, freshmen newbies. You're only gonna be slowed down by people like them. Now, out of my way. I'm sure not everybody's like that at this school. Yeah, she was really mean. She didn't even ask for my name, which is Jax, by the way. I mean, I'm sure not everybody can be that bad. Come on, let's go to math class. Uh, oh, uh, 10, 9 plus 10. Ma'am, I don't think 9 plus 10 is 21. Um, are you the teacher here? Oh, no, my name is, you're the teacher. <laughs> That's a funny exactly. joke, because you're, oh. So don't tell me how to teach the class. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. You're all corrected, here? don't worry. Jax, don't. I think you're gonna get in trouble. She might send you to ISS and you'll have to spend your days staring at a blank wall. Excuse me, uh, teacher? There seems to be a problem. What's wrong? Well, I was looking in my bag and I can't find my phone anywhere. All I know is that that new girl in the pink hair was standing suspiciously close to my locker earlier when it went missing. What? Um, I was not. I don't know anything about your phone. Maybe you should call it and see if, you know, you can find it. Oh yeah, let me call it with the phone that I don't have? I can call it. What's your number? I'll get it. Oh, uh, my number? Well, I mean, you could have just asked for that before. Okay. Wait, my phone's ringing. Wait, I don't have a phone. Wait, whose phone is this? Hey, how That's this... my phone! What? How'd this get in my bag? I don't speak to thieves. Now go to the principal's office. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. I can't believe I actually have to go to the principal's office on my very first day of school. This is definitely not ending up how I thought it was going to. I thought I was gonna be at, like, you know, have a chance of making some friends and being really popular, but instead, here I am. Um, hello? Oh, uh, Megan, I've been waiting for you. Looks like you're in some massive trouble. Well, uh, I can explain. I didn't really do anything. You see, it's my first day here, and some girl is really mean. Listen here, okay? At Brookhaven High, we don't steal things, and if we do, it's out of the students' lockers. And it's only the teachers that get to do that. That's right, I steal. Anyways, I'm gonna get you in major trouble with your mother. Oh, that's right. You live at the orphanage. You don't have a mother. Mm. I, that no was sad. really that was really mean and uncalled for. And you steal. We also roast students here at Brookhaven High. Okay, I'm allowed to make fun of you, and you can't do anything about it. What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna tell? Your mom? Oh, that's right. Um. Well, that's that's 
funny. You're you're so funny. Ha ha. Um, anyway, I better get going home now. You don't have a home, remember? Because you don't have parents. Yeah, go back to the orphanage. That's punishment enough. Uh, if you do it again without cutting me into the deal, uh, you know, I'm going to have to expel you and you're going to have to live in that trash can over there. I already eat out of that trash can. Probably wouldn't be much different to live in it. Um, thanks, I guess. Oh, Megan, there you are. I've been trying to call you all day, but I don't have your phone number, so I just dialed 911 because this is an emergency. Oh, yeah. You know you really shouldn't dial 911 unless, like, you know, you're being kidnapped or your house is burning down, right? Okay, you caught me. The jig is up. I'm secretly a prince. What? Is that why there's a crown floating above your head? Can I touch that? Why is it? Why is it? No, don't touch it. But yes, that is why there's a crown above my head. But I've been doing some deep digging, and that mean girl is up to no good. Well, of course, she literally put her own phone in my bag so that whenever you called it, I would be framed. Yes, and just like moments ago, I witnessed her. I got it all on camera. And she was talking about how she's making a huge plan to make you the most hated person in all of Brookhaven. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like I am already the most hated person in all of Brookhaven. What's the difference if just a couple more people hate me? Hey, you know what? I don't hate you. Oh good, I'll write that down. Jax doesn't hate me. That's something you should write down to remember that because not everyone hates you. Most people, but not everyone. Okay, so maybe we can take that footage that you got of her admitting that she's trying to make me the most hated person in school and take it to the principal's office so that I can be out of trouble. Yes, exactly. That was my exact plan after this real quick. Just checking my pop jam. Okay, I'm good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yes, let's let's go. Um, hello, Mr. Principal. I have a really great news. One, Jax does That's not my hate mom. Me. Oh. Guys, it's not it's not cool to interrupt. All right, I'm about to see the principal. Okay, I might get, I might be in trouble. Oh wait, I am the principal. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I remember that now. <laughs> um, sir, uh, I have really great news. Jax here captured the mean girl whose name I do not actually know, admitting to her awful plan that she is trying to make me the most hated girl in school. Yes, and I wrote a haiku. Can you explain what a haiku is? Not to me, but for Megan. She doesn't it's clearly know what it means. It's a poem that doesn't need rhyming, I think. No, it's oh. a poem that has five syllables, seven syllables, and then five syllables. Ah, uh, this is all wrong then. Oh, it's uh, it's 2.59. You know what that means. I don't care about any of this anymore. I get to leave. Well, why is your mom here? Uh, well, so, um, my mom's here because I've been looking for a sister to take care of. That's right. And, uh, basically, I stopped down the adoption center. I applied to adopt a kid and they say that you're available to adopt? Yes, I am actually available to adopt and I can't believe you want to adopt me without even knowing me. Everyone is always so mean to me and they never really even give me a chance to, you know, be, you know, my true self. For example, the principal, for some reason, he's watching us outside the window. And I don't know why, what are you doing? Get out of my office! Get out! Yeah, and now you're my sister and I'm your big brother, which means I get to bully you a bit and I have a position of power. We're gonna have a lot of fun together, okay? You're not gonna bully me. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. This day has been crazy. My first day of high school, getting in trouble at the principal's office, and now I'm a princess? I don't think life could have gone any better than this. Who are you talking to? Myself. I have, I keep a video journal so I can watch back and reflect on my day. I have some news for you guys. I am now a princess. That's right. Um, You guys have to bow down to me and listen to me or else you guys are going to be in a lot of trouble. How did this happen? I can't believe that you somehow managed to become the princess literally when I tried to get you sent to detention. Yeah, and you hear that, new mom? If she's trying to get me sent to the detention, maybe we should get her sent to the dungeon. Um, actually, looks like I have to go. Lots of homework. Okay, don't forget to be jealous of, jealous of me. This has just been a really great day. Thank you so much for adopting me. I can't wait to be the princess of Brookhaven. Yeah, and my favorite number is 12, and I like the color red. Cool. What are you guys doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I, I started a war with the ants, all right? Uh, they're, they're trying to take over the school. I, I'm fighting the ants. I'm, 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 I'm trying to find the queen bee. I'm, I'm going to suck them all up in my vacuum. Uh, I'm not going to lose this war again. Uh... Uh, that sounds like a you problem. Anyway, later. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I so much appreciate it. And thank you so much to Pop Jam for sponsoring today's video. Again, it is a very, very safe online social media for kids. 
so I know you guys are gonna absolutely love it as much as I do. So make sure you guys follow me over on Pop Jam. The link to the app is down below. Don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!